boys and girls. This is Miss Minnie. I hope you are doing well in your studies and you're having fun at home. Um, today I'm going to tell you a story about uh, the king and queen that give a prize. Okay, there was, uh, you know, kings and queens live in a, in a little bitty house, right? Oh, no. They live in a huge house, a palace, a castle. And it has a lot of rooms, a lot of space there. But the king and queen just sit there and just give orders. So they have people that work for them. One of them was the chamber lady. Chamber lady um, took care of the beds. There was a lot of bedrooms, a lot of beds. And so she would start in the morning and make the bed up and tuck and fluff the pillows and all that. And at night, before she went home, she would undo the beds and get them ready for people to go to sleep. Well, that was her job. And then there was um, the um, cook. Now, the cook would make all kinds of food for the king and queen and the people that lived there. They made soup. They made um, steaks and they and mashed potatoes and uh, beans and sometimes papitas con huevo. <laughs> whatever they, uh, the king and queen wanted to eat. And then there was the cook, the baker. Now the baker would make all the pies and the cakes and cookies and all those good stuff that the king and queen liked. And so, and then there was the gardener. The gardener kept the yard outside. He mowed the lawn, the grass, and he would trim the, uh, the bushes and 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 just kept it real pretty, and um, in fact, you know what he would do with the bushes? He would cut them and make um, things like a like a bird or a uh, um, oh different different shapes. They would he would cut the the bushes in different shapes so it looked pretty, and so. One day, the king and queen were there. And the queen says, you know, king, we need to do something for our workers. We need to give them a prize, something, because they do such good work. Yeah, the king says, let's do that. What can we do? Well, so they thought for a while, and then they, ha-ha, I know. We'll give them a bag of money or a Bible. But we'll let them choose whatever they want to. They can take the money or they can take the, the Bible, whatever they want. And then um, by the king and queen, they sat on the throne. And beside them were two soldiers with spears and they were the ones that went and told the people what the king and queen wanted. So the king and queen says, go get the uh, chamber lady. So they both went, the, both of the soldiers that were there, the guards, and they, they went over and they looked for the, oh, chamber lady, hey, chamber lady. And they were, because the, the castle was very big and they didn't know which bedroom she was at. So they finally, she came out and said, yes, what did you want? The king and queen want to see you. <gasps> oh, no. They probably want to punish me because I forgot to fluff the king's pillow. Oh, no. Get going. And so she went to the king and queen, and the king and queen says, um, look, you make such beautiful beds that they're always so nice and the pillows are so fluffy. We want to give you a a, a prize. Uh, you can choose 
either a bag of money or a Bible, whichever you want. Hmm, the chamber lady says. Oh, I know. Can I have the money? Sure, that's what you want. Yeah, because my, my children, they don't have any bikes, and they've been wanting bikes, and I can buy them some bikes with this money. So she took the money, and she got home. She got the kids. She says, hey, kids, come on. Let's go to uh, Walmart, and I'm going to buy you something special. They didn't know what it was. So they got to Walmart, and, he says, and they got to where the, the bicycles are. He says, I want you to choose your favorite bike. What? Yeah, I'm going to buy any any bike that you want. And so they, they everybody ran, and they chose their bikes, and the mother went and paid, and she had she started getting the money from the bag, and she paid it. I mean, all of them. They were expensive bikes because they cost a lot of money, but she had plenty of money, and she paid for them. And they went out, and they were riding all over the place in their bikes, and they were... Hey, look at my bike. And the little one had a, one of those tricycles, and he had a little bell, and she was ding, 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 ding. And they were having so much fun. And, uh, and, uh, and their friends joined them, and they were all having a lot of fun riding their bikes. Well, the next day, the king and queen says to the guards, says, go get the, the cook. And so they went straight to the kitchen where the, the, the cook was and said, Cook, the king and queen want to see you. Oh, no. Uh, ooh. I think I put too much salt on the soup yesterday. Oh, they're going to punish me. Get over there. And so he went. He says, I, I, I'm so sorry, king and queen. I, I, I put a little bit too much salt in the... Look, we called you because we want to give you a prize. We want to, for you to choose. We have a bag of money, because they had gotten another bag of money, and a Bible. And you can choose whichever you want to. Hmm. Ah. Oh, can I have the money? Sure, whatever you want. And so he took the money because he says, my children, they, they need new clothes. I mean, they, they're growing up and the, uh, their shirts are too short with uh, for them. And, and, and the clothes just doesn't fit anymore. They need to get new clothes. Go ahead and take the money. So um, he went, went home and got the, the children, his children, and says, hey, Come on, get ready, um, because we're going to um, Walmart and get get us some something something special for you. She didn't want to tell, so he they they all got in the car and you know they had combed their hair and gotten all dressed up, and they went to uh, to Walmart and they uh, uh, the the cook said, now I want you to each one of you get a, a shopping cart and fill it up with clothes, whatever you want. Nice blue jeans, shirts, shoes, whatever you want, just fill it up. And they say, wow. Yeah, and so they all ran and they went and got, and they were just throwing everything in the in the shopping carts. But one of the little girls says, uh-uh, don't throw it because you're going to fill it up real quick. Says, Fold it. Fold it up and put the pants all folded up and the shirts and, 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 and the skirts and the dresses and, and put them nicely and you'll get more in the basket. So they did. And so, boy, they, then they got tired and says, okay, Dad, I, we, we want to go home. We're, we're through shopping. And so they went and they... Uh, the lady at the cashier started, ch -ch 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 -ch, and she got it. And she had a long list of clothes and that they had bought, and uh, so the the dad asked how much it was. 
she told them and he started getting the money from the bag and and gave gave it to the to the lady and so they were all happy and they they went home and uh, they were the next day they were wearing their new clothes well the next day the king and queen had gotten another bag of of money and nobody had taken the bible so it was still there <clears throat> and she said uh, and the king and queen said, go get the baker. And only one of them says, I know where he is. And he was in the kitchen. So he went and got him. He says, hey, cookie, baker. Um, the king and queen want to, to see you. Oh, no. Oh, I baked some cookies yesterday and and they got a little burned a little too hard uh, and they're going to get me and punish me go over there and so he oh mr king miss queen I, i'm so sorry I, I didn't mean to to burn the cookies what burnt cookies the king says the ones i made yesterday oh they were delicious. I like them like that. They were a little hard. I could put them in the milk, and they didn't come. Uh, they didn't come apart. They. Uh, I could eat them. I like them, and and that's why we called you because we want to give you a prize. We want you to choose. Would you like to have a Bible or a bag of money, whichever you want. Oh, well, let's see. Ooh, the Bible, it has a verse here. My, ooh, my wife's favorite verse. Wow. But the money, I think she would like. Mm. And he kept on looking at both the, the Bible and says, you know, I'm going to take the, the money because my my wife has been wanting some new furniture and a new TV, and, and, and I can buy that for her. So this that's what you want? Take it. So he took the money, and when he got home, he says, Hey, honey, get dressed. We're going to go, and, and I got a, pri a surprise for you. And so she started getting dress and and says, okay let's go and he drove all the way to the furniture store and says what are we doing here i got a, a surprise for you and they went inside and says okay you've been wanting a tv choose whichever tv you want as big as you want it uh you've been wanting a a, a new couch and chairs and tables and, and a new bed, and just whatever you want. Get it. I got enough money here to pay for it. So they went, and they <laughs> they, they were happy. And the lady was really, uh, liked shopping for for a TV and, and a couch and some tables and a bed. And, oh, they got everything they needed. And when they came, they... Um, they said, oops, how are we going to take them home? Oh, we'll pay for it. They, they'll, they'll take it. They have trucks. And so he, the, the baker paid for the, um, for the furniture, and they said, I'm going to give you $100 more so that you can take uh, uh, the furniture in your trucks. Okay, that's great. And so they... They left, and then they were waiting at their house, and they finally the big truck came loaded with all the furniture they had bought, and uh, they got it in the house, and they fixed it and looked real pretty. Well, the next day, the king and the queen had another bag of money and, of course, a Bible, and they says, Hey, go get the gardener. So both of them went because Garner was somewhere outside. And so they went outside and they started 
Hey, gardener! Gardener! Come here! And he finally says, Yes, what do you want? The king and queen want to see you. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> They're going to punish me. I took some roses to the queen the other day. And she pricked with the thorns and the roses. She pricked her finger and it, and the blood came out. And they're probably going to punish me. I don't want to go. Get going. But I don't want to go. Yes, you are. Come on. Let's go. And so they took him in. Oh, Mrs. Queen, please. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to you to break your finger with the roses. I forgot to trim the the thorns. I'm so sorry. What? What are you talking about? The roses that I brought you the other day. Oh, they're so beautiful. I had never seen such beautiful roses. They were just gorgeous. Oh, but you break your finger. Oh, so that's why I have a bended a band-aid here. Oh, I had forgotten. Yeah, I remember that, but eh, it's it's all right. I feel all right. But we call you because we want to give you a prize. We want to, to choose. Would you like to have a Bible? Or would you like to have a bag of money? Hmm. The gardener said, Oh, well, a money. Ooh, it's got a lot of money. It's heavy. And that Bible is beautiful. Wow. It's got, <laughs> that is my favorite verse. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4, 13. I like that. It's one of my favorites, but... Oh, my goodness, my kids, I could buy them some bicycles. Ah, but they would break and or somebody would steal them. Hmm, maybe the Bible, no, but I could buy them clothes. Oh, no, the clothes tears up and... They outgrow it. They, they're they growing so fast. Well, my, my wife had been wanting new furniture. I could buy some new furniture with this money. Nah, furniture. The kids get it all dirty. It breaks and nah. I'll take the Bible. And he took the Bible. And he got home and he said, Hey, honey, and children, come here. And he says, I want you to, to show you what the king and queen gave me. They gave me a Bible. And the, the, the king had another, uh, another gift, a bag of, of money, but I didn't take it. I didn't want it. Uh, I, I decided to bring the, the Bible. What? The wife said, you mean you didn't take the money? You brought a Bible? What is they going to do for us? We need the money. No, honey. This Bible has a lot of beautiful stories. And I'm going to read to the children every night. A new story. And we're going to start right now. We're going to start with the very first story in the Bible. Okay? So children, sit around. And so they all sat around him. And he started reading. It says, let's start with the very first story in the Bible. And it's the first book of the Bible is Genesis and 
Let me read it. The first story, it says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And he kept on reading about how God had made the world and the, um, the plants and the animals and the man and the woman. And, and he kept on reading. And then he stopped. But you know what? When he opened the Bible, guess what came out? Wow. A thousand dollars. And so he said, you see, we got a thousand dollars. We can buy some things with that. But the Bible has some beautiful stories. And the kid says, keep on reading, keep on reading. Well, wait a minute. I can't read a, the whole Bible. There's 66 books in the Bible. So we're going to take it every night. We're going to sit down. We're going to read the Bible one story at a time, okay? And so every night, the kids would, um, after school, they would go play and do their homework, eat supper, and then they would come and sit around the dad. He would get the Bible, and he would open it. Let's read the next story. And so... Oh, Another thousand dollars came out. Wow. There was two thousand. And he read the the the, the Bible story uh, about Noah and how he built the big boat and how the rain came down and, and he kept on every night he would open the Bible and read a new story. And guess what? The money came kept on coming out. So every night, $1,000, $4,000, 5000 10000 and kept on. There's 66 books. 66000 dollars, maybe, maybe more. But you know what? The, the children remembered, they learned the stories from the Bible, and it kept them in their hearts, and it helped them when they were growing up. They remember the stories in the Bible. If they would have had bikes and clothes and furniture and everything, that would have they would have forgotten it. But they did not forget the stories from the Bible. And boys and girls, when we read the Bible. And we read the stories. They're such beautiful stories. We need to remember them because they're going to help us when we get older. As you get older, you will remember some of those um, stories and it will help your, in your life. And you're going to be happy that you have those stories in your mind and your heart. So read your Bible. Ask your mom and dad to read it for you, okay? And that way you will learn. And if you can read already, you can read it by yourself. But if you cannot read, you can have a bigger brother, a bigger sister, or mom and dad to, to read it for you and enjoy it. You're going to love it. There won't be any money, maybe. Maybe there will. I don't know, but... Usually doesn't have the money there, but those stories are very, very beautiful, very precious. They're better than money. So don't forget to read your Bibles and be happy. Oh, I'm so happy that I've been here with you. Have a great evening and just enjoy yourself. And read your Bible. Learn some verses. Okay? I love you. Thank you. I miss you. I hope I can be with you soon. God bless you. Have a great day.